people have fought so hard to keep you from voting? Why is there something called voter suppression? Why did it take till the 60s for poll taxes to be removed? Why did Black people have to wait for amendments to be passed in order to vote? People have been fighting to keep people of color from coming to the polls and recognizing their power for a reason. But I'm not going to give up. If I give up, then what am I saying about my future kids? What am I saying about the future of my community? We're all going to have to step forward, put our... A lot going on here in the Queen City. There's Tryon Street in Uptown Charlotte, home of the Hornets. Welcome to 2K Sports. We have the NBA coming up. Great to have you with us. This is Kevin Harlan. We've got Chris Weber and Greg Anthony with us. And from the sideline, we'll be hearing from David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Well, Kevin and guys, the NBA is a shoe culture. And none is more popular than the Kobe 4. Originally released in 2009, last season almost a quarter of all NBA players warned them. And that's not just a tribute to the Mamba, but a testament to a design that has stood the test of time. And P.J. Tucker called them the best hoop shoe ever. Strong praise. Kevin? Thanks, David. On uh, tonight, Greg, two teams with a lot of history that know each other very, very well. And sometimes familiarity breeds contempt. Yeah. And that goes for the players, coaches, and fans. This one might get heated. I'm, I'm sure you felt that way many times when you play. Almost every time I took the floor. Good. You, you, you Good. literally want to dislike your opponent. Now let's take a look at go. the Bulls' opening lineup. Porter and Markin and the duo at forward. White and Levine team up in the backcourt. And it's Carter in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for Charlotte, we've got Bismack Biombo. Dante Graham is out there with Terry Rozier. Then there's P.J. Washington. And it's Bridges in at the small four. And the basket by Rozier. Even from long range, Rozier plays with real intensity. He's always on the attack. Bean passes to Carter. Outside, White. Trying to get open is Carter. Second chance shot. And it's White missing. And so Graham will bring it up for the Hornets. Bridges misses. The Bulls have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Levine against Graham. Here's Charlotte now. And the layup is good. Well, I'm impressed with Rozier's growth as a distributor. He's capable of making some nice passes. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Back to Markinen from the arc. And the Bulls with another miss. Just one for five from the field now. I mean, they've come out flat. They need to pick up the energy. And the basket by Rozier. So effective off the dribble. Ro Rozier maneuvers himself nicely when driving lanes. Levine kicks to Markinen. Count that one. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. The Hornets have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Here's Washington. He can't get it to go. Excellent D there from Markinen. Levine wide open. Knocks down the three ball. Uh, with the swift release and a strong ability to create separation, Levine is a beast on the perimeter. And, and when Zach Levine gets hot, see Webb, he gets scorching hot and can completely take over a game. Oh, GA, you know it. And last year, Levine made 13 threes in a single game. That's one off the record set by a splash brother himself, Clay Thompson. Now, when Levine gets going, he can be absolutely unstoppable. This is his first free throw of the game. Well, he, he didn't exactly light it up from the free throw line a season ago. Shot right around 70%. And he knocks down the first one. And see, Webb, last season, pretty much a lost year for Otto Porter. Dealt with that foot issue the majority of the year. That just kind of kept him out of the rotation. Yeah, G.A., I mean, I feel bad for everyone. The, the team viewed him as a key component, and he was just gone. 
I mean, he was able to come back right before the season suspension. Porter's still young, and, and, and he's looking to reestablish himself as a solid win this year. You know, the versatility of Porter is huge. I mean, he's an outstanding perimeter defender, in addition also to being a proven scorer. Chicago has gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Right the pass to Levine. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. They get it back. Markinen, and it's blocked. Oh, great instincts there from Washington. Leading the situation and rising up to spike. Graham with the bucket. Three of four to start. Young fella came to play. And so Levine will bring it up now for Chicago. Four point game. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Devontae Graham. That's his first foul. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. And early in a game, these sorts of plays really can set the tone. On defense, the Hornets. On the wing, Porter. Defended by Bridges. Six to shoot. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. The Wiley Porter is good at getting contact. Can't afford to get too physical with him. The Bulls shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Two shots. throw good Porter and Bacon's checked in for Bridges he's perfect from the line this time so it's the Hornets now Here's Washington off with the layup. Chicago trailing here. White the pass to Markinen. Offensive rebound. A nice shot by Carter. Oh, he's just such a terrific offensive rebound. I mean, Carter Jr. excels at using his big body to his advantage on the glass. Here's Roche. Wow, hammering it in! Let's go home. That was just <laughs> ridiculous. I do not remember the last time I saw a dunk like that in a game. Knocked away. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Oh, you got to love Rozier. Skying up for the dunk. Really seizing the opportunity and capitalizing with this tremendous leap in the building. Now here's Levine. Pass to White. Shock up two there. Even inside, White is tough to contain. Adjust around the defense to get the shot. Charlotte has gone three of four on three pointers in the first quarter. Doing well from long range. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three point play. Greg, maybe not the tallest big in the league, but Washington's reach is the great equalizer. He stands only 6'7", but that 7'2 wingspan, it allows him to play big, snatch rebounds in traffic, and make contested shots in the paint. I think the young fella's got a bright future. One shot. free throw good from Washington. Well, P.J. Washington defines what it means to be a modern big. I mean, the hybrid label has been turned into a positive. Outside, marking it. It's Levine atop the key. Fires for three. Chicago with a new 14. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. 
And here is Washington. There's the triple. No good. He's off to a slow start. One for four so far. Now the pass to Markinen. Carter. Great positioning on the putback. And they've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. Here's Washington. That's good. And it's Rozier with the assist. Rozier's got three assists in the game. A little contact, but Washington stays solid. I mean, he uses some physical play to ensure the bucket. Bulls trail by five. And the foul called on P.J. Washington. That's his first foul. And the next one puts him in the bonus. And the Hornets making a change here. Zeller's checked in. Tony Zeller. Rozier against White. Passes it to Levine. Porter outside. Sinks the triple. Porter's got seven points in the game. Uh, when Porter first came into the league, he didn't have this shot. Now he's a knockdown perimeter shooter. And it's Graham missing. And so it's Carter who brings the ball up for Chicago. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Charlotte takes possession. Hornets ball. Nicholas Batum. He's checked in for the Hornets. Nicholas Batum. Charlotte's gone 3 of 6, 50% from deep so far tonight. Three-pointer, Graham. Here's Zeller, and the dunk by Zeller. Okay, he's putting that seven-foot frame to good use. I mean, Zeller pounding the glass. They get a hand on it. On the wing, Porter. Gets the three-pointer to fall. He's got ten. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. And stolen by Graham. It falls for his fifth field goal tonight. Now shooting five for eight. Some players might wear down during this kind of run. He's only getting strong. Carter outside. And a wide open look for Porter. That one falls, coming off Carter's feed. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. And plenty of contact on the shot, so two free throws coming up. And the foul goes against Chicago. And, and making an immediate impact in this league, Graham was a tremendous find in the second round. Yeah, the 34th pick in 2018. Some scouts felt he had a low ceiling, but someone who never loses confidence because he's had to prove himself at every level. That makes you battle-tested, and it prepares you to affect winning. And that one falls for Graham. Well, it seems like every year, Greg, we see some incredible new players come to the NBA, and they are welcome with open arms. Their, their style of play is so terrific. No doubt about it. You know, guys like John Moran, I think he's got a chance to be one of the greats. And any list about the future of the NBA has to include Luka Doncic. I don't know if there's a better basketball talent than that young man. And, you know, let's not forget about Devin Booker out in Phoenix as well. A, a terrific, terrific player. Three terrific kids. You're right. Biombo with the block. There's Bacon. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. They should one. continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. For Charlotte, they have gone three for three at the line tonight. And they were 75% from the line a season ago. Bulls trail by eight. Now Sadoransky. Here's Young. Got a piece of it. And registering one of the highest verticals at the NBA Combine. Zella can send your shot back. Batum, good. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, they've been very aggressive, and they've taken early control of this game. 
They get it again. Here's Young, and stolen by Graham. Fast break now for Charlotte. Up again, controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Without question. They're giving up too many high percentage looks, a trend that they'd like to reverse. Bulls trail by 13. And stolen by Graham. Pass to Bacon. Good. Nice job down low. Bacon's got seven. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to summon up a little more sense of urgency. It's Porter outside. The shot's good on the assist by Sadoransky. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor spacing. Well, when he's hitting from range on a consistent basis, it makes everything easier offensively. Hornets leading by 10. Here's Graham. Score the basket. It's number six for him this game. Six for nine, 67% shooting. Really seizing the momentum of this game, but doing it with a methodical approach. They've decided to pound the ball inside, using their physicality to set the tone. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the teardrop. And now the first timeout called here for the Hornets. making a change here. Hutchison's checked in. And so Graham will bring it up for the Hornets. Ten-point lead. Lays it up off the glass. Graham's got 19 points. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Pass to Cornett. Batum grabs the miss. And already they've taken out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. Bulls trail by 14. Here's Dunn. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Here's Charlotte now. They're on an 18-7 run. Here's Batum. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. And Chicago shooting 43% since taking the floor today. Done with it. Biombo on him. One-on-one -on -one here. Graham with the bucket. 
23 points in the game. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. To the inside, Hutchison, he dents the rim with a two-handed slam. Wow. What unselfishness from the young guard, uh, Dunn. Uh, he's making more of an effort to, to distribute the ball. Here's Biombo. Oh, that's blocked. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will take it. Washington's checked in for Biombo. Bulls trail by 16. Sadoransky in the corner. That's in. Coming off an assist from Dunn. Sadoransky's got seven points. Oh, no hesitation from Sadoransky there. I mean, the coaching staff love seeing him shoot with confidence. Yeah, just nice strength there and then just off with the shot. And this will be his second and third shots at the line here. DJ Washington. Shooting two. The first one falls. So he gets them both. Yeah, and early on doing a really nice job at the free throw line. There's 126 left in the first quarter. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And so here is Chicago. Sadoransky with it. He has seven. And so the ball's out of bounds. Graham touched it last. Valentine's checked in for Chicago. Shaquille Harris comes in for Sadoransky. We've got 113 left to play in the first. Hornets leading by 15. There's Bacon. Boom, he jams it straight down. This is the kind of teammate Batum is. You like seeing him share it like this. 59 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's Harrison. That's tipped. Dunn kicks to Harrison. Out left of the wing. Valentine wide open. He fires from outside off the mark. Oh, that's just a lucky break for the deep. Yeah, keep giving him that shot. Bad things will happen. Washington, that's good. Well, you see fours like Washington all over the floor. The, the easiest shot, though, is normally inside. Bulls trail by 19. 27 seconds left in the first quarter. And that one, good. And, guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Well, this is the kind of teammate Zeller is willing to give it up when he has guys open. 19 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Harrison in the corner for the three. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Zeller's got four rebounds in this game. With four seconds on the clock, and he wills that one in, sinking right through off the back iron. Give them credit. Offensively, they've been the more efficient team. Yeah, and it's because of the looks they're getting. Their offense has created some great opportunities. And so it's the Charlotte Hornets sitting on a 21-point lead to end the quarter. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. We've got more in store for you right after this.
And recently, we chatted with Zach Levine about the team, and he pointed out what he sees as an advantage. You know, we should have energy, and we should be out playing the other team. Like I said, just competitive-wise, we don't have all the miles the other teams have. We should have energy, you know, young, hungry dudes that are ready to compete and show what they have in this league. And um, we shouldn't be tired out there. We should be the most conditioned team. We should be running people up and down. <laughs> Craig tried to turn their youthful exuberance into a weapon. I like that he's focused on increasing their level of activity because it's something within their control. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And a comfortable margin for the Hornets here, guys. Well, they use the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. Well, setting the pace early. Aggressive mind state. I love their approach so far. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. Taking a look at the Bulls. Dunn is out there with Harrison. Then there's Valentine. And it's Cornette in at the five. And Chicago has possession. Down to five on the shot clock. Count it. Good. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Uh, we see this all too often. You have to be willing to put it in. And it's blocked. And that's out of bounds. Charlotte will retain possession. Here's Washington, and Charlotte again with the bucket. Washington. And here's Don. He'll bring it up for Chicago. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Hey, Kevin. Well, the Bulls have a new front office, branching out from the Nuggets Brain Trust with new team president. Given Denver's success identifying and developing young talent with a win percentage that's climbed year after year, there is at least some optimism that the Bulls will be able to build a similar and sustainable winning program. Guys? Wouldn't that be a story? Thank you, David. Charlotte's gone 5 of 9 when they put up the three point shot tonight. Rozier with the ball. Now guarded by Dunn. He gets it in there. But this game would have a different look if it wasn't for his shooting. I mean, 100% from the field for him. Dunn outside. Right wing, but three from Valentine. And again, no good by Chicago. For Charlotte, they've gotten four of their first five shots to fall in the second quarter. Outstanding shooting. They retain possession. Here's Bridges. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Chicago calls timeout. Reagan, New York, you obviously played in a number of championship contending teams. What do the Knicks have to do to get back to that feel, that kind of team? Well, listen, it starts with stability across the board, but mainly that means at the top. And you got to give this new front office, this new regime, an opportunity. Uh, I think they got some good young pieces. Uh, but title contenders are not in a constant state of flux right now. They've got to take their baby steps here and start moving in the right direction. Like you say, it does begin in the front office. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Carter, he's checked in for Luke Cornett. Lowry Marketing comes in for Chandler Hutchison. Levine's checked in for Valentine. And it's wide in for Chris Dunn. Levine passes to Harrison. White, wide open. He fires. And the Bulls with another miss. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. That one falls. Zeller's got six points. Well, in college, Zeller showed great ability to face up and knock down mid-range jumpers. He's just now doing it more consistently in the pros. Rozier with the steal. 
And now here's Rozier, the fast break chance. And there's another one for the Hornets. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Chicago's gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Levine way outside. They could use a bucket, and it's denied. Now, here's Washington. 11 points in the game. Took him no time at all on that one. Washington's got four points in the quarter. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Uh, starting to take over here, building a big lead that could ultimately prove insurmountable. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. No, doing anything they can to stop the bleeding, but so far they've had no answers. And they are earning points with the jump shot now. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Dean passes to Carter. Count the basket. Uh, there is where Carter Jr. is most comfortable. It, it feels like he can score at will from there. And now, Wendell Carter, a great young prospect for the Bulls. Kevin, he's seen steady improvement so far. They believe he'll be a factor for a long time. Bulls have gone just two of eight shooting here in the second quarter. Over in the corner, White. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. White's got his second basket of the game. Charlotte's gone five of nine when they put up the three-point shot tonight. And with Carter, they like that he's an impact player on both ends of the floor. Yeah, G.A., and on the offensive end, he's an underrated passer. I could see him taking more playmaking responsibility in the future. The ceiling on his skill set is very high. Shot on the wing, and there's another one for the Hornets. From that in-between range, they've been the much better team. And so Levine will bring it up now for the Bulls. Harrison in the corner, wide open look. He clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. Well, because he's so dangerous, the D is often drawn to Levine. I mean, it, it opens up some wide passing lanes for him. And White slams it in. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play, then the emphatic stump. Oh, yeah. Bang, bang. An impressive sequence that has them fired up. For Chicago, they've gone 6 of 12 in the second quarter, right at the 50% mark from the field. Markinen passes to Levine. Zeller grabs the board. Zeller's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Alert play on the part of Washington. He's a much stronger player when he shows the type of awareness and unselfishness. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Moving it around, eight of their last ten coming off assists. The Bulls shooting their fifth free throw of the game here. And, and their free throw percentage as a unit last year, 76%, right around the middle of the road. Biombo is checked in for Charlotte. Dwayne Bacon comes in for Nicholas Batum. And a change for the Bulls. Otto Porter Jr., he's checked in for Harrison. And looking back at what was a stellar career, Greg, if there was one thing you could have done different, do you have anything on your mind? You know, I, I would have loved to have had the opportunity to finish my career in New York. Uh, that, that was a special place, a special time. Unfortunately, that didn't transpire, but that's the one thing that, that stands out. That and obviously not winning a championship. I can understand both of those. Yes. And it's the Hornets with the ball. Zach Levine unable to get his last shot to go. The Bulls have gone 7 of 15 from the field here in the second quarter, just under 50% shooting. Quarter, no luck. Time out, time and he out. didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. And the Hornets call time here. And thinking back, Biombo selected seventh overall because of the pre-draft measurements and, and workouts, which were unreal. Well, he has a seven-foot-six wingspan. Flash tremendous speed for his size. But he also has showed a mature, positive attitude. He can speak five languages. 
Scouts came away impressed with his total package. And the Hornets making a change here. Graham's checked in. Charlotte has gone five of nine when they put up the three-point shot tonight. Rozier, count it, and he's now eight of nine from the floor. But look how Rozier just burst inside, crashing right through the contact to get the shot. In the corner, it's Levine. Good on the three-point shot. Levine's got six here in this quarter. He doesn't play around. If the buck is there for him, he's going to get it. And it's Rozier missing. The Bulls shooting at a decent 44% clip here. Levine kicks to White. Shoots over Graham. The Bulls keep it alive. Biombo with the block. And here is Bridges. Over Levine. Here's Bacon. It's good again in an excellent 7 for 8 shooting night so far. And Kevin, they've dialed up their activity this quarter. We're seeing them convert a lot of those second chance opportunities. White finds Markinen. It's Porter outside. The Hornets pull it in. And after that great first quarter from three-point range, he has finally come back to earth. Excellent, excellent box out there, keeping himself between the man and the basket. Here's Bacon. 15 points in the game. Got that one up quick. Bacon's got 17. And here's White. He'll bring it up for the Bulls. Goes up again. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. And a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. This is Carter Jr.'s role. I mean, he knows he's out there to be assertive and a factor on the glass. For Chicago, they have been on target from the free throw line. They're 5 of 5 in that department. So for the Bulls. Young comes in for Markinen, and Sadoransky is subbed in for Levine. A nightly double-double threat. Carter Jr.'s combination of size, length, and sheer willpower is impressive. Graham with the bucket. Graham's got 25 points in the game. And that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. Oh, yeah, difficult finish, but if you expected him to back down, you better think again. He's been fantastic, but he can't do it all by himself. Some of the other guys need to lighten the load and step up. They're going to turn it over. They couldn't get it in bounds that time. Turnovers haven't been a problem for them so far, but they didn't do a very good job taking care of the ball right there. Tipped away and stolen by Graham. And finished off by Graham. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. White, good. His field goal percentage is creeping up there now. I mean, it wasn't pretty in the first quarter. And the basket by Rozier. He's got 19. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Now Carter, he's got 11. Guys, we've seen a lot of turnovers in this one. Yeah, focus, focus, focus. Just make the simple play. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And how about then not settling? I mean, instead of being lazy with the shot selection, they go right to the rim. Rozier with the steal. 
And Thomas Zedaransky against the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. Some changes for Chicago. Luke Cornett, he's checked in for Wendell Carter. And it's Valentine in for Otto Porter Jr. And Young comes over to help. Here's Graham. And he uses the glass on the layup. Graham's got six in the quarter. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. And here's Valentine for three. Falls through. He's now made two of four. Yeah, that's two bombs in a row from long range. And the dunk by Graham. Straight rim rocker. It looked like a Greg for a second, like he might rip the cylinder loose. <laughs> Here's Zadaransky. He has seven. Minutes, two minutes, two minutes. Over in the corner, White. The shot's good on the assist by Zadaransky. White's got 14. Out of their last five makes, how about all five from long range? And it's slammed in by Bridges. Well, this is what Bridges' is off the ball awareness uh, can get him. I mean, rebounds and second chance buckets. Now, here's Valentine. He's got five. And a fast break now for the Hornets. Rogier's got the ball, and it's blocked. White looking around. Knocks it loose. Bridges with the steal. One fourteen left now here in the second. Not that time. It's off. He's three for seven. And we haven't seen them be quite as aggressive driving the basketball, settling far too much for jumpers. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. And he just powered that one down. One of the game's top dunkers. 56 seconds left in the first half. And White kicks to Sederansk. Shoots the three. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And the Hornets now going the other way. Here's Graham. And it's blocked. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Sederansky. Martin's checked in for Charlotte. Donnie's checked in for Chicago. Forty seconds left in the second quarter. And the Hornets miss again. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. You're exactly right. I mean, that's the kind of shot you're trying to work for at the offensive end. Yeah, easy call. A, a tall, strong combo guard who can shoot it as well as pass it. Sadoransky played around 30 minutes a game for the Bulls last season as he found a way to impress the team every chance they gave him. First one falls for him. They've hit every one of their free throws here in the second quarter. Very important when you're trailing. Chandler Hutchison, he's checked in for Thaddeus Young. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. Now, what you especially like about Sadoransky, I mean, he gives you size out of the backcourt, and he's a complete player. Here's Bridges. Shakes off the strong D and gets the bucket for two. Bridges has got eight points. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter, and now you can see him getting into a rhythm. Sadoransky against Martin. And Cornett gets it to go. With great size and excellent vision. I mean, Sadoransky is able to read defenses and distribute accordingly. From deep. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And so it's Charlotte going to the break, holding an enormous 36-point lead. And they're winning the turnover battle very easily in this one. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. 
After one half of play, it's been a one-sided affair. Hey, everybody, welcome back. This is Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. It was a big-time first quarter for Devontae Graham. He ended up with 33 points, two assists, and four steals. Kenny, your thoughts on the Hornets' first half? Well, the bench came in and helped them run away with this one. Tremendous job of getting loose, getting open, and drilling shots. You always want that spark off the bench, and these guys delivered. Looking at Chicago, Shaq, your thoughts? Well, they were playing like it was Christmas, Ernie. Giving up a lot of turnovers. There's no excuses for the turnover numbers, sloppy ball handling. They looked out of control, and the execution was all over the place. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. You look at Devontae Graham, what a contribution. In that first half, he was a hot knife, and the defense was butter, sliced right through them. He did a great job of attacking the seams, getting to the rim, and then finishing strong. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. We've got Bridges. Bismack Biambo is out there with Washington. Then there's Devontae Graham, and it's Rozier in at the one. So that's who James Borrego starts the second half with. Here is Porter, following the bucket by the Hornets. Here's Graham. That's good, and it's Rozier with the assist. Rozier's got his seventh assist here tonight. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Now here's Levine. Hands it from downtown. Levine's got 12 points in the game. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. And they're beginning to just flat-out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Hey, Kevin, good to hear from you. Now, Zach Levine has become a star, but he knows there's still work to be done. He said, I'm stepping into a leadership role, asking more of myself and giving more each year. You've got to look at your faults. I have to continue to improve my defense. I want to help us make the playoffs. My next step as a player is winning. Guys, back to you. Great attitude. David, thank you. Now, here's Bridges. He's got 10. Basket counts. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Marking in from outside. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. Graham's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. It's still early, but a one for four start to the half, that's a bad sign if you ask me. If they've got a can't miss play, now's the time to break the glass and pull it out. And a chance there to look back at the stunning mobile one block a moment ago. And that'll give them a jolt. Nothing like a rejection to light a fire under you. Bulls on D. Count it. Rozier's got 23. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. White with it. 14 points for him. Poked away and stolen by Graham. Now here's Rozier. White with the defensive effort. Here's Porter, marking and trying to break loose. A beautiful reverse layup. 21 points in the game. All Porter needs is a couple to fall. As soon as this happens, he's in the zone. Fires from 18. Here's Washington. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. The Hornets shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. Going to the line. DJ Washington. Shooting two. Two shots. Last on the first. 
First free throw is good. Some changes for Charlotte. Zeller, he's checked in for Bismack Biombo. And it's Batum in for Devontae Graham. Second free throw, no good. And last season for Markinen didn't really go as planned. Greg, we know he suffered some injuries and had a hard time establishing his role. Yeah, both the scoring and rebounding were down. And, and this happens sometimes with a new coach and a new system. But one thing's for sure, the talent is there. Markinen is still very young and has a tremendous upside. Trains the three-pointer. Well, at the arc, uh, Washington can be so dangerous. Focuses his shot and just drills it. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And so it's going to be a three-second violation out there on the defense. And one of the things that stands out when you see Bridges, that explosive leaping ability. Well, yeah, he gets off the ground quickly and makes adjustments in midair. There's a smoothness to his athleticism. He's still putting it all together but there's a lot to work with. And the technical free throw is good. And last year, Larry Markinen was asked to change his style of play a bit. He did more spot-up shooting for the team. Yeah, and honestly, in my opinion, GA, it was a waste of what Markinen can be. I mean, this kid can dunk on you inside, post up, face get you in the triple threat, shoot the three off the spot up, and more so importantly, maybe even handle the ball. He can make players around him better. He has one of the quickest first steps to take guys off the dribble in the league for his size. I'd like to see him take greater advantage of his skill set. Third quarter action in just under three and a half minutes have gone. Here's Harrison. He's covered by Zeller. It's blocked. And they get it back. For three, Levine drops in the tray. Levine's got 15. I like the vision from Porter. Not just looking for his own shot. Constantly looking to get it to the open man. That one goes in. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. <laughs> yeah, they're pouring it on right here. Trying to give the opposition no light at the end of the tunnel. That one drops for him. Oh, easy look provided by Carter Jr. Always helps when your bees can move the rock. Here's Batum. And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. He's got nine. <laughs> In the mid-range, rarely the hallmark of efficiency in today's NBA, but it is on point tonight. Now here's Levine. 17 points in the game. Here's Harrison. No good from outside. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Here's Washington. Carter pulls it in. It isn't the D that causes that miss. That's just a, a loss of concentration that time. And here's Porter. He's got 21. Here's Washington. And that one drops for him. Washington's got six in the quarter. Well, the defense can't let Washington get into a rhythm because once he gets going, uh, he, he doesn't let up. And Carter has it in the corner. Markin and trying to break loose. And the Bulls with another miss. Charlotte's gone six of 11 when they've taken the three-point shot tonight. Very respectable. Plenty of daylight on that shot. Look, he has solid mechanics. A nice touch on his jumper. We've seen that from Zeller since college. And it's Harrison with the ball for the Chicago Bulls. Ball's knocked loose. Bridges with the steal. Fades away. Again, the Hornets score. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. You have to go to your best scores. I mean, it's a smart strategy, and so far, it's paying off in this game. Another in the long line of big man who can train the three. That makes him a very tough cover. And it's Rozier missing. Pulls it gone at a pretty good shooting pace. They're 6 of 13 from the field here in the third. Levine for three. Another three for Chicago. 
Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. A nice shot by Zeller. Oh, bringing the energy. I mean, night in and night out. Zeller gives his team everything he's got. Chicago has gone downtown a lot since halftime. They've missed five of their nine attempts out there. Back to Levine. All sorts of time. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. Levine's got 22 points. Oh, he's been as dependable as he always is. He can't do it all by himself, though. And the Hornets call time here. And, Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes, a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. And he's checked in for Bridges. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Luke Cornett, he's checked in for Wendell Carter. Young comes in for Lowry Markinen. Chandler Hutchison, he's checked in for Porter. And Chris Dunn subbed in for Harrison. And yes, it's good. 27 points for him. He, he's got the hot hand right now. As long as he can keep getting open, they've got to keep feeding him. Dunn looking over the floor. Here's Cornette, kicks it to Levine. Done, wide open, he fires, and again it's the Bulls from deep. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Well, well it had to be. These days you need to stretch the floor somewhat to make everything else work. Man, when the ball's in his hands, that's as high percentage as it gets. It's just a fluke miss. For three, Levine, that's in, coming off an assist from Dunn. Dunn's got three assists now in this one. Yeah, great outside shooting, really fueling this run. And the basket by Rozier. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. For three, Levine and the Bulls, another three. Time out, time and they're out. getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. And the Hornets call time here. My Xbox was a spot. On the north part, I put numbers on the board. I financed it all, but who keep a score? We talking fair pay. I know all things ain't equal, so I pay it for it. The irony of growing up hard is you gotta pay for it. Why you think they for it? Why you think we got about the hood for it? Zoransky's checked in for the Bulls. Charlotte's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Shot by Zeller, no good. Now look, even if he had other places to go with the ball, that's a good shot. You, you can't blame him for letting that one fly. Here's Hutchison, and there's the pass to Cornette. And the dunk by Zeller. Versatility to play in the high post as well as alongside the baseline. Zeller does have places to get his buckets, which have been piling up tonight. Now, here's Dunn. He has five. A rebound by Washington. Washington's got 11 rebounds in the game. 
I don't know if it's been the main factor, but this off night has definitely been one factor here. And I like that they're not settling, getting the ball on the interior, eight of their last ten coming that way. And again, Chicago turns it over. The story of their game right here, one sloppy play after another. Here's Rozier. He's got 29 points. There's Bacon. Again, the Hornets score. Well, over Batum's career, he's averaged more than three assists per game. He just knows how to whip the ball around the floor. And so Sadoransky will bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. Poke loose, and it's done in the corner. And again, Chicago, no good. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. Chicago ball. Biombo is checked in for the Hornets. Devontae Graham comes in for Nicholas Batum. Biombo. Devontae Graham. The Bulls shooting an outstanding 55% from the field since the half. You know, their execution has been on point. Here's Young. The shot's good on the assist by Sadoransky. Sadoransky's got six assists now in the game. And see, well, Sadoransky doesn't have many years of NBA experience, but he plays like a vet due to his time over in Europe. I agree with you, Jay. Sadoransky, he's a great decision maker. He's, he's been a winner and a natural leader in the locker room. Every player he's played with has had great things to say about him. And it's the Bulls with the ball. After the basket by Charlotte. And Cornette gets it to go. And not relying at all on the three-point shot. Uh, they may want to rethink about stretching the defense a bit like they did in that first half. Now, here's Biombo. It's hauled in by Cornette. Some very aggressive defense to prevent the easy lay-in. And the foul on Dwayne Bacon. That's foul number two for him. The Bulls making a switch here. Valentine's checked in. Substitution on the Pass to Sadoransky. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Now here's McDaniel. And he gets it to go. McDaniel's got his first bucket in this one. One forty-three left here in the third quarter. And Malik Monk is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. Here's Dunn. He has five. The defense has done a good job of forcing him in tough shots to score. Monk with the ball, and Young picks him up defensively. Oh, defense, they just took that possession off. I mean, they get away with it that time, but they've got to show some more aggression. Valentine shot good. And they've got to talk to each other on D there. Miscommunication, and now he's able to make them pay. And Young comes over to help. Bacon's shot is off. Young in the corner. The shot's good on the assist by Sadoransky. Young's got four this quarter. Uh, he can fill out a lot of different roles, but Sadoransky excels as a creator. He can make the spectacular passes and the smart ones. Now, here's Dunn. The shot by Sadoransky, no good. Now, here's Biombo. He's guarded closely. Fades back. That one off the back iron and out. Yeah, and the height disadvantage there forced them into a really tough shot. Tried to fade away, but just couldn't pull it off. And this guy is a high flyer. I mean, especially for a power forward, and he needs to be as an undersized player. Six-second difference between the shot and game clock. Martin, solid shot from the distance of about 14 feet. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. The Bulls shooting a hot 57% from the field in the third. Here's Dunn, again Chicago. 
decent at cashing it in from the mid-range. I mean, it's obvious that Dunn wants to improve his jumper. Here's Monk. And, yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. Obviously a mix-up defensively on that possession. Three seconds left, and it's Young finishing it off. Yeah, just a simple one-hand flush. I think he got a few more inches on his vertical by going with the spike. The three quarters of play all in the books, and this one all but over already. Hornets ahead, just dominating this one. And time to step aside quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. No, that's quick decision making. You see a guy open, you can't hesitate. That, that, that's an outstanding play right there. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. On the court for the Bulls, getting this fourth quarter started. They've got Young. White is out there with Sederance. Then there's Valentine. And it's Cornette in at the center position. Uh, good anticipation on the feed. Uh, he knows exactly where to go with that ball. Wasted no time on that one. Impressive, really, from that short 17 area. They are not missing many. From outside the arc, and the Bulls, another three. Their three-point percentage has taken a big leap here in this second half. It's Martin on the wing. Sadoransky covering. White left side. Pass to Sadoransky. Young with no one around. And it's off from three-point range. Charlotte's gone 6 of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark. Shooting the three ball well. Hernan Gomez. That's a two-pointer. Jump shot is good. And here's White. He'll bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. With the fadeaway. Another one falls for Chicago. Since he's wide open, he's got time to add a little style with the fadeaway. The Hornets have gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter started. It's good. And that's ten straight off of the mid-range. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. Pass to White. Back to Sadoransky. Drills the three-pointer. So many of the plays they're running designed to create opportunities from deep. You see more teams doing this nowadays. We all are firmly entrenched in the era of the three ball. And stolen by White. There's the pass to Sadoransky. The three from Valentine. The shot's good on the assist by Sadoransky. Sadoransky's got assist number nine now. Wow, what an effort here tonight. And it's Martin penetrating, and that one is good. Well, Chicago has gone to three-point range for 12 of their points in the final quarter on four of five shooting. White down low, and the call will be against Hernan Gomez. That is his first foul of the game. Daniel Gafford's checked in for Chicago. Harrison comes in for Sadoransky. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Luke Cornett. That is his first foul of the game. The Hornets have gone an outstanding 4 of 5 from the field in the fourth quarter so far. And Charlotte again with the bucket. 
Oh, there's not much else you can do defensively. Monk is good at staying locked in, even when under pressure. The Bulls have gone five of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Strong work at that end of the floor. Here's White. To the left side wing. Goes back up. And the Bulls with another miss. Uh, with the D playing soft off him, he might have been better off taking it to the hoop instead of settling for the jump. Got that bucket in in no time at all. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. That one time, that's for two. And misses it off the right side of the rim. For Charlotte, they've gotten it done so far from the field here in the fourth. Going six for seven. And they pick up two. Yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. Well, they're playing well as a unit. Taking shots they know they can make and building this lead. Now here's White. Passes it to Cornette. He feeds it to Valentine. Here's Harrison. And again, Chicago. No good. And it's the Hornets ball. Good momentum. Eight straight points. Here's Martin. And a little luck that time, but it drops. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm. And you can see how they're finishing their plays. Yeah, right now it feels like they can't miss. We'll see how long they can make this last. Here's Martin. And Charlotte again with the bucket. You know, guys, fast break points right now in their favor. And, and they're really pushing the tempo. And here's Valentine for three. And another one in the scoring column for him. He's 7 of 10 from the field. And with that three ball, he puts a halt to the 12-point run by the Hornets. Here's Monk. And here is McDaniel. From out on the wing, he knocks it down. Here's White. Pass to Cornette. Back to White. Takes the three. Buries the long-range jumper. There you go, his first three-pointer of the night. That should calm him down, maybe even get him going a little bit. Here's Monk. Now Hernan Gomez. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Cornette's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's White. That one doesn't go. Good work defensively by Martin. From 20 feet out, pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Martin's got six in the quarter. The Bulls have gone through the fourth quarter shooting 50%, 7 of 14. And here's Valentine for three. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. Oh, he's been dominant this quarter. I mean, he's determined to prevent the lead from getting any bigger. Charlotte calls timeout. Chicago making some changes. Chandler Hutchison comes in for Luke Cornett. And Chris Dunn subbed in for White. Here's Monk. And the shot goes in. Well, another part of his game uh, that is coming along nicely. Give Monk these looks, and he's going to cash in. Harrison passes to Gaffer. Yes, that goes in. Gafford's got his first bucket of the night. Oh, no hesitation to get it to the rim. He uses his height advantage to convert the easy one. A shot like that is a polite way to say, hey, coach, bench me. Yeah, what was that? Did he forget about... Uh, very strange. 
rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Shots good by Hernan Gomez. A nice job taking what the defenders gave him. These guys need a gut check right now. I mean, I don't know what they were thinking. You have to know the scouting report. He's a threat from out there. Here's Harrison after the basket by Charlotte. For three. And rebounded by McDaniels. McDaniels got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Done with some nice D. Bull shooting straight 49% from the field. Here's the teardrop. And he lays it up and in. And he has starting to turn it on now after that slow start. Martin with it. Now guarded by Dunn. Shoots. And it's Martin missing. And here's Dunn. He'll bring it up for Chicago. To the paint. Here's Gafford. And it's blocked. And he's able to get it back. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. That one good for two. Uh, straight up effort gets him those points. That's what it's all about on the offensive glass. Here's Monk. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. That's precision on display. Monk has the athleticism to stop on a dime and rise up in rhythm. Dunn passes to Gaffer. Here's Harrison. Drains it from beyond the arc. Okay, he has all the space he needs in this. So he's going to make that a lot more than he misses. Here's Monk. And they cash in right away with the quick shot. Here's Dunn. Got a piece of it. Martin with it. Last break, here comes Chicago. Here's Valentine. Good again, he's on tonight, nine for 13 shooting. Taking things into his own hands. He's been a beast this quarter. Here's Monk. He can't get that one. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Over to the left wing, Harrison. That's in, coming off an assist from Dunn. Dunn's got assist number eight now on the night. Charlotte has gone past the three-point line for 13 of their shots, six of 13. And again, the Hornets missing. The rotation in the D could be better here. It, it'll cost them next time if it's not. Let's it go from deep. Herman Gomez grabs the miss. Herman Gomez has got his fifth rebound in this one. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. And here are the Bulls now. Done outside. Pass to Gafford. Here's Valentine. Back to Dunn. And the pass to Hutchison. Shot clock at six. It's good from long range. Well, he's not focused on the D or most possessions, but you can forget about him altogether. Here's Monk. Trains the 19-footer. Oh, he gets great elevation when shooting the rock. Monk's a capable scorer from the perimeter. And the basket by Hutchinson. Hutchinson's got five points in the quarter. They couldn't run the inbound play any better than right there. From deep three-point range, Hornets now working with the new shot clock. Here's Hernan Gomez. And he overshot that one, missing. The Bulls shooting in the fourth has been tremendous, 59%. Here's Harrison. The Hornets pull it in. McDaniels got rebound number five here tonight. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Hornets. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. Charlotte's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. The shot by Monk is no good. The Bulls shooting 51% from the field. They'll take that. He tries for three. 
He can't get that one to fall. Time out, time out. And Charlotte will go the other way with it. Charlotte calls timeout. They're leading by 31. 52 seconds left to play here in the fourth. And now, let's present our New Balance Player of the Game, Devontae Graham. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. He's played up to his full potential tonight, and he's been playing to the crowd, too. He loves being the star attraction, even if it doesn't happen on a regular basis. Charlotte has gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc, 6 of 15. And they made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. Uh, that's why they're in the driver's seat right now, looking to put this one away. Now, here's Sadoransky. And here's Valentine for three. That's no good. Miss number five against 14 makes. And here's Charlotte. Here's Gafford. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Now, here's Dunn. Floats one, and he sinks the layup. Great game for him. Double-double now. 11 points and 11 assists. Now, here's Monk. Dunn covering. Passes it to Bacon. So no problem for Charlotte as they get the win. It was a tale of two teams tonight. One that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. See you next time.